Hey guys, so um, I'm here to actually sit down and make a video for you today. Super, super happy and really excited for it. Um, well, that I'm actually making a video. Um, first off, I do know that my voice is a little different. I am sick again, really sad. Um, but what are you going to do? Uh, so it's just really my voice. I'm feeling pretty good though. Um, also, I am wearing my glasses today because I don't have contacts really really sad um so there is a glare on my eyes you probably can't even really see my eyes um but i can't help that <laughs> but i love the real laugh um i'm here to do my april favorites very overdue i know it's been already 10 days past april but better late than never um so i'm going to quickly film this for you because i'm actually about to head out to go to colin's house so here we go um so the first thing I have for favorites that I'm going to talk to you with is, or show you guys, um, is my new lotion that I got, and it's from Bed Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body. Bath and Body Works. I always want to say Bed Bath and Beyond whenever I say that, because it's, okay, yeah. Um, it's from Bath and Body Works, um, and it's the Bali Mango Body Lotion, and this is just the sample, not the sample, the small size. Um, this is already like halfway more oh this is gone. This is like empty. But it smells so good. Oh my gosh. I can't even explain the smell like like really good. That's how you explain it. It's amazing. Just oh I remember when I went to go get it, uh, while I was getting it, I was like walking around like this in the store, I was like squeezing it and it squared down on my nose. But, you know, what are you gonna do? Um <laughs> But this is amazing. I've really been loving this. Um, so yeah, really good. Um, another thing that I have been loving for this month is a Revlon lip butter, and this is in the color Cupcake. Um, show you guys. It's a really nice um, pink color, and I'll swatch it. Really swatch it. I tried filming this video earlier. And my camera died, so, yeah. Um, but the color is this pink color right here. Um, it's just a really nice bright pink. And I actually have it on my lips right now. So, um, I really do like these because they're in between, um, like a lip gloss and a lipstick without being, you know, too much of one or too much of the other. So it's like a good mixture of both and just, you know, feels really good and nice on your lips. So I really do love those. Another thing that I have been in love with, um, not in love with, but for mascara that I've been favoriting for this past month, um, is a mascara that I've had for a while now, just never really used, um, and it's the Maybelline Define a Lash Waterproof Mascara, um, which looks like this, so, um, I'll show you the brush, I've actually had this for a really long time, and I don't know why, but I just never really used it, um, but the brush just looks like this. And it is a very, like, flimsy brush. Oh. Um, but it gets every one of your lashes. And it, like, lengthens them. Like, makes them longer. Um, and it also, you know, gets, um, doesn't clump or anything. So it's a really, really good mascara. And I really do like it. Um, so I'm not sure where I got this or if they still have it. Pretty sure they... I don't want to say they do because I don't think I've seen it around. I don't want to say they don't in case they do. I'm not sure. But if you guys see this, you know, you should get it because it works really, really good. I always have it on me. Um, <laughs> another thing for lips that I've been favoriting for a little bit is by Clinique. And it's just a lipstick in the color Raspberry Glaze. Yeah. Um, and it looks like this. Now, it's a little intimidating when you first look at it because it is a red, and I usually stay away from red lipsticks, and I just wear pink, like pink colors on my lips. Um, but when I put it on the first time, you know, just lightly put it on, um, I got a couple compliments from it, so I actually really do like wearing it. Um, and this is the color, that red color right there. Uh, the only red color on my hand, um, but it's the red right there. Um, it is a very pretty color and my friend Haley actually got this she gave it for me she gave it to me um so if you're watching this Haley I love you thank you um so yeah there's that 
um, for eyeliner, if I can get it, um, that I've been loving, or not loving, but been liking, um, for the past month is a new eyeliner, green color, which I've never worn green ever, I don't ever wear usually a color, um, but it's by Milani, and it's their Infinite Liquid Eyeliner, it's up to 24 hour wear, um, it just looks like this, and it's a really nice pretty green color, it's, um, this green right here on my hand, um, and it's really, really pretty, this is the color internal, so this is the brush, um, I wouldn't say the brush is the best, um, it is pretty tricky to work with, so if you have, like, an angled eyeliner brush, just dip that in there, um, and I'm pretty, and it's gonna work a lot better, but this color is really, really pretty, it's just a nice, shimmery green with a little bit of hints of gold to it, um, so it's really pretty. Um, another eyeliner that I've been liking is, um, wrong eyeliner. Oh, I hear all my stuff in the background, it's really annoying. Um, another eyeliner I've been liking is by Ulta, and it's the glitter eyeliner in the color teal, so it just looks like this. Not a big fan of the whole glitter eyeliner part of it, um, but the color, it's this one, last, the last one here. It's a very, very pretty color. Um, it's really good. I think these, this one and the Milani one, very nice for spring, and it's very appropriate. It's nothing too flashy, but it gives that hint of color um, and splash to your outfits, which I really do like. Um, so I've been liking that. Um, for jewelry for this month that I've been in love with, that I mean seriously in love with, are these earrings right here. Um, now these have a pretty good story behind these. Um, not a, you know, amazing story, but a story behind these. Um, these are actually from a boutique called, um, Pink Boutique. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the name. Um, I actually discovered them through someone else on YouTube. They had a giveaway with this. And then I saw them, they have a Facebook page and all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to talk too much about these because I'm going to do a review on these. Um, but I actually got these in a the giveaway. I won, um, through the lady long story, but these are what they look like, and they're super cute, they look probably a little heavy and chunky, but they are so light in your ears, um, take out my ear. so they just look like that, you know, nothing too big, too flashy, um, but just enough to, you know, say I'm here, and I got that, <laughs> so, um, there's that, and then the last thing for makeup that I have is foundation, and that is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. Um, this is in the color Classic Ivory. So, um, someone else on YouTube called Beauty Baby 44. She talks about this a lot in a lot of her videos. A little skeptical about getting it, but I actually did, and I love it. Um, I'll probably do talk about this in a review or something like that. Um, talk a little more about it, but it is a really good foundation, and I really do like it. Um, about medium coverage, I wouldn't say it's um, full, but you could probably build it up to there. Um, but you might be on the edge of cakey makeup, so watch it. Um, so that's it for makeup. Um, but I'm gonna go on to clothes. There's just one little couple items here. Um, the first thing that I've been loving is this fedora hat. Um, it's just a regular fedora hat with a black ribbon, and it has a little right here, I guess you could say. Um, it's actually from Rue 21. Um, it's a little bent. Um, but I love wearing these, um, wearing this hat a lot. I usually don't wear it with my hair down. I usually, like, braid it to the side. Or, um, I wear it curly and wear this. Um, ooh, my phone vibrated. <laughs> um, anyways, I really do love this hat. I think it was, like, 12 or $13 from Forever 21. Um, I really do like this. It looks really good with the little outfits. It's very springy, and it's perfect for spring and summer. So, I really do like these hats. These hats, not, yeah, these hats. I like the door hats. Um, another thing I have for clothes is actually a dress. Um, I'm going to stand up so you guys can see it. Um, this is the dress. It's from Forever 21. Um, it is a floor print dress. So it has a navy blue background with pinks and yellows and greens and blues. 
Um, and then the back um, just has a ooh, <laughs> it has a cutout here, and um, it has a, a V9 a V line neck, and then it has a strap in the back that goes across your ch shoulders. Um. <laughs> so I really do love this dress. Um, it is very eye popping and catching, and I wore it for Easter actually. Um, it probably goes about a little above my knee, and I wear it with the fedora hat, and looks super cute. And then the shoes that I've been favoring this month, and that I happen to wear with the dress as well, um, are these wedges. These are also soccer from. What was it? These are also from Forever 21, Shocker. I said it backwards, who does that? Um, but these are just um, uh, just regular wedges. They have um, open toed and it has a little buckle going across here. And then um, a buckle going across the ankle. Um, these are probably five, you know, good five inches. So they're not forever, you know, too, too huge. They look, you know, probably pretty, pretty good. They're actually really, really comfortable as well. Um, <laughs> um, they're pretty comfortable, and I really do love the wearing these whenever I can. I even wear them around the house sometimes just to feel tall and nice. Um, so I really do love these heels, and they are just amazing. And they go with a lot of things that I have. And I think they're perfect for again, spring and summer. Um, so think that's it. Oh, one more little thing <laughs> before I forget. I also happen to get the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. Um, I know I'm like way behind everybody because everyone already got it, but I finally got it and I'm so happy. Um, did I already show this? I didn't show this in this video, did I? I hope I didn't. I filmed this video a couple minutes ago and my camera died, so I think this is the last thing I talked about before my camera died. Oh well, I'm going to talk about it again. So if I this is the second time talking about this, I'm sorry, and I don't think it is, but I'm going to talk about it again. Anyways, I finally got the Naked 2 palette, um, and I love this palette. Um, first off, the huge mirror here, I don't want to blind you guys. Um, I love it because it is very clear, and a lot bigger than um, the first one, which is really tiny. Um, it's really good to see, especially on days like today when I have my glasses on. I can't see when I take them off, and so doing my makeup from the mirror in front of me, I'm like, right here. But with this big one, I could have it, you know, right here and still do my makeup and still see. So I really do like that. Um, and then also, the colors are gorgeous, so pretty. And then the two, the double-ended brush works wonders, and it's really good. Um, the colors, a little iffy though, some of them aren't as pigmented as I liked. Um, but I will talk about this more, maybe in a review or whatever. But there's going to be tutorials coming up with that soon, so check it out later. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. I'm actually going to go because I was supposed to be at Colin's house like 30 minutes ago. Um, so um, I will see you guys in my next video. Um, so if you liked this or any products that I've used or you saw and you liked, um, you can thumbs up this video. That'd be really cool. Um, any products you saw, you have questions on or anything you want me to try and look out look at or check out. Um, you can also leave a comment below. Also still trying to get Colton in a video. Um, trying to do that really soon, maybe, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So if you're not already, you can also hit the subscribe button above. That'd be really cool. And um, if you want me to subscribe back, just let me know and I will. Um, I have no problem with that. And again, I will be doing shout outs in a video. So you have a, if you want a shout out or you want to give a shout out to somebody else inbox me or leave a comment below and I will give you a shout out or that person a shout out no big problem um so yeah I'll see you guys later and have a wonderful day bye